Hey there, so I have made a lot of videos on chairs before, or not a lot, several. Uh, I have a video called The Basics Chairs, um, but today I wanted to go over the three main chairs again because my thinking has evolved on them, on which ones to buy first. Um, behind me, I have a brown on neutral, a white non-padded, and a white padded. In the past, I used to say that the brown uh, was the first one you should buy. Uh, in my market, it's brown. I check the other rental companies around, see what they have, just in case I need to sub-rent them or they needed a sub-rent from me, they could all be matching. Other rental markets, you know, these might be all black, uh, might be tan, might be cream. Um, just check your own market and see what most rental companies around you have. I know my friend in Rochester, instead of brown, he has black because everyone around him had black. So if he gets in a bind and needs 100 chairs, he can rent them and they're going to match. And then that also opens up the possibility that people will rent them from you. So like I said, in the past, I believe that the brown were the best, but now I believe the white non-padded are. So the reason why I think the white non-padded are the best ones to start with now is because it opens you up to um, weddings and graduation parties. If you start with the white, uh, you can do both of those parties. If you start with the brown or black or some other color, uh, you're really limited to graduation and backyard parties. But the white non-padded go out for weddings all the time. Um, you may not get everyone that wants to do a white wedding. They may want the fancier white padded, but at least you're opening yourself up to both markets. Um, and they cost the same. The white non-padded and the brown, they're the same chair, there's different colors, they cost exactly the same. You don't have to spend extra money on them. Sure, you're gonna have to spend extra time cleaning them because they will show dirt more, but uh, when you buy them, they're usually around $12, maybe as high as 14. If you buy them during the off season, uh, the manufacturers will discount them. I buy them from Palmer Snyder, which is by far the best brand out there. You only have to buy them once. If you buy from somewhere else that gets them from China, you're going to end up buying them two or three times over the time that you own them. So spend a little bit extra money and go with the Palmer Snyder ones. The Chinese ones you might be able to find for eight, nine dollars, which isn't that bad if you can get them for twelve dollars from Palmer Snyder during their off season. So back to why i think it's best i've been talking to a lot of people and you know the money is in the weddings the real money is in the weddings so if you can get chairs that can do double duty go for graduations and backyard parties and go for weddings you're setting yourself up really nicely and then in the future you can go backwards and get the brown or black chairs so that you can easily do grad parties and stuff in every market there needs to be an affordable chair option uh, usually it's a dollar or a dollar ten per chair. Uh, we charge a dollar for the brown chairs. Um, most people will go with those. Um, but the people who want to have their graduation party look a little fancier, they'll go with the white. We charge a dollar seventy-five for them. And like I said, they go for weddings too. So set yourself up for future success by getting the white non-padded first. Uh, it's been, it took a little convincing, but I now see that that is the best path for future success. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.